Hello, welcome to the self-learning platform by Dr. Shushma Singh. Today we start Unit 12, Alexis D. Jokwell. And we are discussing conclusion. Jokwell's central concern was to understand the forces that created the democratic order in America and find ways and means to prevent revolution in France. His analysis of politics was within a sociological framework. He focused on culture, manners, and habits of people. He also wrote on social stratification, race relations, slavery, colonialism, communist, voluntary associations, bureaucracy, armies, language, literature, art, religion, prisons, and crimes. Using the comparative method extensively in his arguments, he explained the root cause for the success of democratic institutions in America, the importance of laws over geographical circumstances, and eventually the importance of manners over laws. Initially, he compared between America and the geographically similar but socially and politically different societies of Latin America and French Canada. Subsequently, he extended the same to the eastern states of Union and the frontier state of the West, where the laws were the same but the manners of democracy less entrenched. Tocqueville wrote, keeping France in mind for the Fran French had already shown a penchant of sacrificing their liberty to a longing for equality. He portrayed America as the land of pluralism, localism, self-help and eagerness for voluntary associations. He expressed anxiety about America becoming more obsessed with material success and for getting the political arena held together by public opinion and from there linked his fears about the emergence of a soft to despotism that allows manipulation of one's mind. He also understood the threat individuality faced under the clamor for social equality and democracy, a theme that G.S. Mill sentiently developed subsequently. He could perceive the threats that democracy posed to the sacred things called liberty. He also emphasized that only political freedom could remedy the ills to which equality of conditions gives rise. He hopefully accepted that equality and despite his fears, embraced the political freedom that democracy promised. He understood democracy in two senses. In the political sense, it implied representative institutions based on extended franchise. But more importantly, it also meant social democracy or the acceptance of equality at the social level. Democracy fosters equal social conditions and is different from both aristocracy and despotism. He also anticipated the present day pluralist theory of democracy popularized by Dahi and his associated. He could perceive that the strength of American political system was derived from the constitutional provisions 
and from the tradition of local governments and the mediating institutions which people formed a theme recreated by the american neo conservatives Jokwell was the pioneer to analyze the social roots of democracy for he emphasized the importance of shared beliefs and network of social relations a theme resurrected by the communitarian critics of modern liberalism Jokwell also highlighted two aspects of individualism the basis of a democratic society these were faith in individual reason as the sole basis of opinion and belief in a self-centered and self-interested pursuit of one's personal ends he supported the individual right to rebel against intellectual authority as a natural democratic right The other aspect of democratic individualism was the withdrawal from the public sphere and focus on material welfare of the family as the main goal. This would lead to greater personal ambition and competitiveness. In a society based on equality of opportunity, it was possible to pursue this goal without being hindered by disadvantages of birth making competition intense and bitter those who succeeded were resented for that demonstrated inequality of ability this middle class desire for material security was according to tocqueville natural at the political level such a pursuit of material comforts threatened individual liberty and encouraging conformism and tyranny of majority opinion in a society of equals every individual felt he was equal to the others and thereby feeling powerless none could claim to have a unique right over truth since the majority had to be right this encouraged conformism for a dissenting individual came to believe that his position had to be a wrong one this conformist leads to curtailment of individual autonomy and extension of state power one casualty of extension of state power was the eclipse of intermediate institutions between the individual and the state individuals would increasingly be concerned with private benefits and indifferent to public responsibilities leaving politics to politicians all this would only result in the automation of society with the state being viewed as the main social organization this would lead to a new kind of despotism where the individuals permit and accept a degree of benevolent intrusion for they are afraid of public opinion this would only weaken individual liberty as an antidote chokwell suggested strengthening political democracy through representative institutions free political parties and free press it is for these reasons that he styled himself as liberal of a new kind ever since the pilgrim 
fathers settled down in America. The new world attracted the attention of European political thinkers. For instance, the libertarian liberalism of Locke would have been inconceivable without the discovery of America. Tocqueville's importance lies in his penetrating analysis of the social factors that was essential for something strengthening democratic order anywhere in the world. It is because of this universalistic paradigm that democracy in America is not merely a description of the consolidation of the first mass democracy in the world, but an essential primer for understanding the very nature of modern democratic order both in theory and practice. Now, summary of the unit. Alexis D. Trockwell has been labeled as an aristocratic conservative or even a liberal conservative. His passion for freedom and its protection for property rights represented his liberal tendencies, but he cautioned against dangers about too much democracy. He disliked revolutions but offered a balanced view because revolution established liberty. But several revolutions in succession make orderly liberty impossible. He disliked the terror and despotism of the French Revolution, but approved of its commitment to freedom and equality. He was conscious about the spread of democracy as in a democratic society there would be an absence of natural leaders. Individuals would fight for positions on the basis of interest rather than privileges. It is in fostering free and participatory political institutions that he saw the key of resisting the despotic tendencies inherent in the principle of equality. He considered strong local institutions as a preventative to arbitrary intervention by central authority. According to him, religion was a political institution and vital to the preservation of freedom in a democracy. Society, particularly from the despotic tendencies that equality of conditions unleashed. Democracy because of equality of conditions needed moral ties and hence needed religion. He attacked the institutions of arranged marriages for it encouraged loose sexual morals, thereby undermining personal freedom. According to him, martial freedom as practiced by the American guaranteed a high level of chastity. Chokwell's central concerns were to understand the forces that created the democratic order in America and find ways and means to prevent revolution in France. Here we want to wind up this lecture and we have come to the end of the unit. Thank you so much for your attention.